Cruz is 24. Bulls 5'7. Cruz 5'8. The weight for these men separated by only half a pound and a two inch reach advantage for the champion, Brian Bulls. So we are set to go. All that's left to do is send it inside the cage. That is where Joe Martinez has our official introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Nationwide Arena here in Columbus, Ohio, it is time for the main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled for the WEC Bantamweight Championship of the World. This bout is brought to you by the dark custom world of Harley Davidson, Muscle Farm, fuel for the athlete in you, and Bud Light. Here we go. Sanctioned by the Ohio Athletic Commission Executive Director, Bernie Brofano. The three judges scoring this bout in cage side on the 10-point must system are Jeff Bletnick, Doug Crosby, and Cardo Urso. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready and the fighters are ready for the thousands in attendance here at Nationwide Arena. And those watching live on versus Columbus, Ohio, make some noise, are you? Official weight, 134 pounds. He brings an excellent professional record into the ring. 14 victories with one defeat. Fighting out of San Diego, California. Here is the challenger, Dominic. Standing five feet seven inches tall, official weight 134 and one half pounds. He is perfect as a professional. Eight victories with no defeats. Fighting out of Athens, Georgia. He is the undefeated, undisputed WEC bantamweight champion of the world, Brian Bones. Referee in charge of the action, Kevin Mulholland. A championship fight. You've both been given your rules. You should obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Bring it. So it's Dominic Cruz and the champion Brian Bowles. One of these men will walk out of the cage tonight in Columbus, Ohio with the belt. title on the line. We are scheduled for five five-minute rounds for this championship bout. Brian Bowles in the red trunks, Dominic Cruz in the white. Look at already with that fast speed from Dominic Cruz switching up, dancing. He's dancing in there. It looks like a young white version of Ali. You see a lot of fighters come in and they put the speed or try to put the speed on Brian Bowles. All he needs is a fraction of a second and that right hand. Yeah, he's got that one-punch knockout power, that's for sure. Dominic Cruz doing a great job of changing levels on Brian Bowles. Be very careful, though, and it's this time it's Cruz that connects first to the chin of Brian Bowles. Beautiful counterpunch there as Bowles is coming forward. And we hope Bowles can take a shot because that fight back in August, Miguel Torres tagged him good. Yeah, he's got an uh, iron chin, this Bowles. I'd be really surprised to see him get knocked out tonight. Cruz been trained up in Big Bear with the likes of guys like Brandon Vera. And you think, my God, Brandon Vera, 205 pounder, used to be a heavyweight. What could uh, Cruz possibly offer to him? But Vera has said that this guy is a handful. He just runs around, he changes angles, and it's so hard to get a hand on him. Dominic Cruz continues to come forward, changing levels on the champion, Brian Bowles. Yeah, that's a very patient fight that we've seen. He's, he's not going to get panicky. Just come forward and start bringing leather on you. Yeah, just like we saw right there. Cruz missed, and uh, Bulls jumped all over God, Cruz has such good reactions. He goes for that low kick. He sees that Bulls, turns his knee out, starts checking. He pulls off of it. He actually changes his mind on his light. light on his feet, Dominic Cruz. Black and blue trunks, and he connects. Bulls fighters. Bulls fighters. 
their scoring points there. Wow, good shot, good counter shot from uh, Dominic Cruz there. Bulls in the punch of his own, now he's rocked a little bit. Ryan Bulls takes connection, Dominic Cruz. That punch hurt Bulls. You can see it on his face, he backed up. He does not want more of those shots. Halfway through round number one, this one is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Cruz knows he hurt him. He's looking to turn up the heat a little here. Glance, another glancing right hand over the top. Dominic Cruz comes with a lot of different fainting shots. God, he just gives you so many looks. He's always switching feet, hopping in and out, throwing the low kick, fake the low kick, throwing the left hook. Just beautiful combinations of footwork by Cruz. As you said at the top of the show, it is speed versus power. Who wins out tonight in the WEC? This is for the Bantamweight belt. Brian Bowles currently holds that belt. Dominic Cruz looking to take it back to San Diego. Even though Cruz probably isn't the harder puncher, shots like that where Bowles is walking in, those make the punches a lot harder because you got all your weight and momentum going into the punch. Kind of like it in baseball. The harder the fastball is, the farther it goes out the park. Ryan Bowles is a smart fighter, though. It's going to be interesting to see if he makes some major adjustments going into round number two as we go under 90 seconds here in round one. Yeah, he's already starting to make adjustments. He's uh, definitely not moving in his oh, Right when I said that. Oh, look at this. Beautiful takedown by uh, Cruz. It looked like that same knee champ he used a lot for his Benavides. So this is an aspect of the fight that we have not seen so far. The first four minutes, really a stand-up striking battle. Who do you like if it goes to the ground and stays on the ground? Well, gee, I, I always thought Bulls had the better submission game, uh, but uh, it looks like Cruz might be the better wrestler. And uh, after his last fight with Benavides, uh, he really showed me that his wrestling game is tight. Right in the middle of the fight. Right in the middle of the fight. Here we go. Back out. Back out. Back out. Job to listen to his corner. Yeah. I think his corner saw how successful he was in the stand up striking game and said, Let's just get this off the mat. A little blood coming from the nose of the champion, Brian Bowles. Yeah, and Cruz's timing has really added to his power. Like I said before, a lot of those big punches he landed has been when Bowles has been walking right into it. Dominic Cruz continues to rise up and drop down, looking at different angles. So evasive. Oh. Nice speed, comes back with a combination, then Good. a kick. Left hook, right straight, followed by a low kick. So we will go to a second round here with the Bantamweight belt on the line when we return to Columbus, Ohio and Nationwide Arena. Oh, Cruz this round. Let's take a look at some of the action from that first round. Beautiful right-hand counter shot by Dominic Cruz. And it, it, here's another one, the same punch, that right hand over the top. That's the one that actually hurt Bowles. So the chess match continues into the second round. What adjustments will Brian Bowles, the champion, make? Because I think at that point, you really have to give that first round to the challenger, Dominic Cruz. Oh, that first round was definitely all Dominic Cruz. Using that footwork, using that in-and-out movement, landing those counter shots, hard punches too, hurting Bowles, and getting a takedown. Right off the bat, what I notice is Brian Bowles is more active. He is not just standing, he is dancing now. Still in the way Dominic Cruz likes to fight. Well, he, he, uh, another counter right hook. He knows he lost that first round. He knows he got to get some momentum going here. Dominic Cruz in the white and black trunks. The champion, Brian Bowles, in the red trunks. Beautiful low kick. That was a hard one. Yeah, Cruz is just countering Bowles so well. Well, you can tell Bowles is a little confused here. He doesn't want to chase him, but he kind of has to because he knows he's down. And the thing is, amazing to me is Brian Bowles is not a slow fighter by any means. I mean, he's a pretty quick fighter. Oh, just yeah, that's a big punch there. Good count. That's Brian Bowles' best shot of the fight. Yeah, he's, he's pretty fast himself, but the speed of Cruz is just unbelievable. Dominic Cruz losing to Uriah Faber three years ago in a fight where he was just overmatched by the speed of Uriah Faber, one of the fastest fighters in the WEC. And that jab's getting the balls. You can see the blood dripping out of his nose now. And uh, Cruz smells blood. You know, although Cruz has a lot of de uh, decision victories, he has excellent finishing instincts. You saw that against Benavides. Every time he landed a good shot, he'd jump all over Benavides. And that's the only area right now where
Well, Dominic Cruz seems to be leaving himself open. When he comes in, if he doesn't connect on those combinations, Brian Bowles is quick to jump on it, close the distance, and just start pounding. Yeah, and that's how Bowles just landed that in the right hand a minute ago. And since then, he's ate a couple jabs. You see the blood running down the nose of Bowles. Now Bowles looking for the counter himself. on Bull's face right now. His eyes seem swollen, his nose is bloody, his confidence is starting to go a little bit. And Cruz is pouring it on. Wow, what a combination, what a flurry. Such an unorthodox way that Dominic Cruz is fighting Brian Bulls. It's not going into the standard stand and strike. He's tacking, swinging. Look at it. Angles, he dips, he faints. Just in and out. Constant lateral movement. Constant angles. Switching his feet up. Landing counter shots. Oh! Bulls with a mean left hand and a good counter by Cruz. Both fighters scoring points here in the second round as we go under 30 seconds. That left eye of uh, Bowles looks like it's starting to bother him a little. That's a nice sharp down. Great double leg takedown by Cruz. And Brian Bowles never saw that coming as we approach 10 seconds to go here in round number two. So it's Dominic Cruz who has changed things up here in round two. We'll see a third round when we return to Nationwide Arena. Break as 
The doctor comes in and examines the champion, the Brian Bowles, or should we say the former champion, Brian Bowles. And so Dominic Cruz gets it done here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, either way, we have a new bantamweight champion by the name of Dominic Cruz. And a great performance tonight here in the WEC. Looks like uh, Bull's hand is broken. He's pointing to his hand, shaking his hand. And uh, he's not walking too well. I actually, uh, from what I hear, it's definitely a broken hand. Looks to be limping on that leg. I know after taking those low kicks, you sit down on that stool for a minute, and it's hard to walk when you get up. Looks like his nose might have been broken, too. It's pretty slow. No, the official word is it's a broken hand. The Senate inside the cage, Joe Martinez has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Bulls did not answer the bell to start round number three due to injury. Therefore, we declare your winner by TKO victory and new WEC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Dominic Cruz! Dominic, congratulations. Uh, I gotta ask you, how does that belt feel around your waist? Oh, it's a little heavy, man. Dang. It's great, though, man. Please don't boo me. I, I appreciate everybody out here coming out to watch watch this fight. Brian Bowles is a great champion. He really is. He fought his heart out. I fought my heart out. I worked really hard for this, people. Thank you, Buckeyes, for coming out to watch. You'll see a lot more of me. I want to thank my mom. Wouldn't be able to do this without her. All my people from Tucson, Arizona, they came out to support me. And uh, this belt's for my mom, man. It goes to my mom. She, Without her, I wouldn't be able to do this. Well, let's talk about the belt. Let's talk about the fight as mom gets the biggest belt she'll ever receive. Dominic, what was the strategy? Dominic, the strategy coming into this fight because you were all over attacking at different levels. Yeah, I just, uh, I mean, we train, train, train. I spar a lot. Brian Bowles is very good, man. He's got heavy hands. He popped me a few times in the mouth, man. I just had to move a lot, just like I said I was going to do. Executed the, aim, the game plan. Del Fiero MMA. I'm telling you, that's where it's at. Right there. There it goes. Your new champion, Dominic Cruz. And we shift gears now over to Brian Bowles. Brian, take us through what happened there during that break. Uh, the first punch that I threw in the whole fight, I broke my hand. I knew it right then, and they kind of just threw me off. My mind started thinking about my hand, and then uh, yeah, I broke my hand my last fight. I just started, that started going through my mind instead of, uh, instead of concentrating on fighting. With a situation like this, how long do you see yourself having to recuperate for this, and, and what would you like to see happen next? Um... You know, I, I'm sure I'll have to fight somebody before I fight for the belt again. You know, I just got to uh, get this hand better. You know, I don't know how bad of a break it is, but um, I'm pretty sure it's broke. I mean, it's, I've had a couple broken hands, and, uh, you know, I just got to let it get better. All right, Columbus, let's hear it for Brian Bowles. But we have a new champion in Dominic Cruz. <laughs> 